the numbers for Vietnam are very interesting. Um, there are 3.2 million Americans that served in Vietnam. That includes Navy personnel that were offshore during the Vietnam War. Out of that, approximately 20,000 served as Special Forces. Out of that group, there's 2,000 or so that were assigned to SOG during that era in the secret war. And the numbers are between four to 600 who ran recon across the fence into Laos, Cambodia, or North Vietnam. What did you think of the Ho Chi Minh Trail? You know. Well, you, you, the Ho Chi Minh Trail, I, I think the official thinks we the Ho Chi Minh Trail complex. And at the time, we knew it in the limited context of where we were, that it was a continuing moving process. The, the people that worked it were dedicated. Um, the, the saying of uh, Mayo Test Tongue's Army of Ants, that's what we were up against. Christmas Day, uh, oh, Christmas 1968, Day. Uh, we were inserted to a target uh, by King Bees again. And uh, we were supposed to go in just to do a general uh, observation. And uh, we were supposed to get in near the top of a ridge get inserted up there and then move and a separate area to get an observation from both sides of the ridge. And we went up this hill. The cubby had found a small hill halfway up this mountain. So he had these huge mountains and we flew up the mountain and at about two thirds up there was this little hill in the middle. He set us down on the hill. We got off and we moved to the east and uh, we quickly made contact with a very small element. And then during this contact, I got a hold of Cubby pretty quick, our air support. And uh, he said, do not go to the northeast. You have an intelligence report. Do not go there. So when he says that, that tells me as a 1-0, something's wrong there. We can't go. So now we can only go one place to the east. The bad guys are there. Uh, during the firefight, uh, we threw some hand grenades to the south. We heard people moving to the south. Threw the hand grenades, and it began to burn all of the elephant grass around us, so to the south and then to the east, and it spread, and it began to come up the mountain. And at one point, there was a surrealistic moment where on top of the hill, you could look through the heat and the waves of heat that burned in a hot fire, and you could see the NVA standing down there, kind of like looking at us. And the King Bee pilot who put us in, he came in at the top, he flew down the hills kind of sideways, and then landed. And, uh, when he came in, I could see it was him, the veteran pilot, Captain Tuon, who I'd known. He pulled us out several other times. And he landed, we get on, and by now the smoke, the fire was really intense. The prop wars literally held back the entire fire and everything for that moment. When we got on the plane, the helicopter, as soon as he lifted off with the H-34, whoosh, 